Hello everyone, my name is Valerie White Williams and I'm a voice teacher and a vocal coach for Vocal Splendor Studios. I am in need of some Christmas cheer, so I am reacting to Ava and little things. Let's have a listen. We found out that you could do digital copies of yourself. Hmm. You will see us as our digital self. We've done something called motion capture. They filmed us doing the old songs. What you're hmm. going to see when you come to this show is us. Hmm. Little things like my gentle touch. It's amazing, darling, that so little can achieve mm. so much. Little things mm. like your sleepy smile. As a brand new day is dawning, it's a lovely Christmas morning. And why don't we stay in bed for <laughs> a while? Oh my goodness, their voices are so beautiful and their unisons. Now, here's the thing, unisons aren't easy. You know, people think about harmonies and there's a lot of harmonies that can be complex, but to get this lock in the unison, you have to be soulmates for that. And I've been through many vocal groups and sometimes it's really hard to get that unison, but when you're soulmates, I don't know, I'm getting a little cosmic here, that's when that lock happens. Soon enough they'll be waking up from their dreams Children bursting with giggles and screams <laughs> Oh what joy Santa brings Thanks old friend for packing Christmas stockings full of nice little things <laughs> Little things like your naughty eyes You consider bringing me a breakfast tray But there's a price Little things like that happy noise As a brand new day is dawning On this lovely Christmas morning It's our children playing with them I'm gonna stop just a minute. It's interesting, they're talking about Christmas and toys and things, but what I really love is these kids playing instruments and performing and getting skills and dancing. It seems to me it's about the continuousness of music where people are inspired and we keep doing it. That's what we need. Live music, live people performing together for community. That's what it's about. Oh, what joy Santa brings. Thanks, old friend, for packing Christmas <laughs> stockings full mm. of nice little things. Thank you, dear old friend, for packing Christmas stockings full of nice little things. Mm. I almost cried.
tried, but I didn't. But I could still. I love ABBA. I remember reacting to their very first outlay and I really cried to see them come back together because it just stands for the testament of time of just friends coming back and and appreciate them and it's it just warms my heart and they're just sticking to their guns they're making ABBA music they're who cares about the modernization besides their avatars and stuff but they're just doing the music they've always done, and which is, is very comforting. It was super cute to see the kids at the end performing like them. It was really fun. And like kids still remember, I hope they do, because they were an epic band. And again, the, the beautiful unison, the songwriting, so heartwarming. I really need this because it's been a challenging time for me and my family, losing my husband and I don't know when I'm going to get over that, but I'm still going to make videos because here's the thing. Yes, I'm sad, but I also need to be happy and making music and doing reaction videos makes me happy. Teaching music makes me happy. That's what I'm here to do. So yeah, I mean, this was kind of not so much a vocal reaction, but just a reaction to their Christmas output. And I, I was surprised. I thought it would be something different. I didn't expect there to be kids preparing for a performance, but it was really heartwarming because it's, it's a testament of music and commitment and working hard. The thing about music is that people who are doing well have worked very hard to get there. There are very few unknowns that come and splash. Usually the people that are working as unknowns have been working for a very long time. And then when people discover them, like, wow, they're an overnight sensation. Not normally, not normally. Normally they've been working for a very long time and might hit a, a time where they get discovered, but it's not like it was sudden. There's a lot of craft to do in music. There's a lot of soul searching for music, you know, writing songs. There's just a lot of craft in it. And I think in America, we have a different focus on, on natural talent. It's interesting doing reactions from around the world. People in overseas, they don't see it that way. They really respect the craftsmanship, the time spent in lessons and training technique, learning songwriting, dancing. These are all separate skills and it takes time. Yes, some people are natural, but a lot of times natural people that have natural skills, they're lazy. <laughs> when it gets hard, they're, they're out. Where people that aren't necessarily as talented continue to work hard and grow something. So I'm happy that Abbott's back. I actually bought their album. I have not yet done album reactions. Maybe I should, but I have it on my coffee table and I'm excited to listen to it and maybe I'll listen to it with you guys. All right, so if you love ABBA as much as I do, make sure you subscribe and click on the bell and let me know what other ABBA songs I should react to. And that includes the old ones. I listened to ABBA back in the day and I probably could do reactions again from, from their epic music. They made it sound so easy. They really did, but they were highly skilled. And like I said about that blend, it's really special. It's, it's not something that you can force. It really has to be something that comes from within and focusing on each other because to blend a voice you have to kind of merge with it and not everybody wants to do that some people want to stand out but to blend you have to like soften those corners so we can blend as one which is what we're supposed to do here on our planet earth we need to blend as one so we can get through this this crazy time of of darkness and as the humanity comes together, we're going to shake off the parasites. So, okay, so I want to let you know also that I do have two free passion projects on Facebook. The first one is YouTube Success Strategies, and that's where I'm coaching people how to succeed on YouTube because I've done quite well with this channel, but I have secondary channels that I'm practicing my success strategies, and so they're, they're turning out well too. So if you're interested in that, you can find it in the description below. And also I have the group Creative Soul Alignment, and that's for people. There's people from all over the world 
world, Pakistan, Sweden, Scandinavia, the United States, Australia. And they're all people that love the creative arts and spirituality. Because here's the deal. We are all spiritual beings and we are all creative beings. Whether you know it or not, you are creating your own life. So when we create with that in mind, we can create a world that works for all of us without creepy overlords telling us what to do. First thing, we have to visualize it and imagine a world where we don't have those creepers around. I can imagine it. How about you? All right, so take care, and I'll see you next time. Bye.